Hi everyone, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Today I'm gonna be uh, showing you neon watercolors from Paul Rubens and doing the biggest doodle of my life. So stay tuned! Recently I've been reviewing some of Paul Rubens uh, watercolors and other products and uh, in one of the comments some of you told me that uh, they this person actually purchased neon watercolors from Paul Rubens and she loved them. So, uh, of course, I <laughs> checked them out straight away and um, I actually asked them if they wouldn't mind sending me um, this watercolor set and uh, just letting me try it out. So, this set comes with 14 tubes of 5 milliliters. They are well pigmented and actually you can mix them with other colors to get brighter colors or just dull them out a little bit. They are called Opera Series and um, as you can see I prepare already um, the colors in the pens and I just let the last one to do it in front of you. Uh, all the markings you have on the small tubes and uh, believe me they will last a long time and they are highly pigmented also you can um, mix them uh, with other colors to for example brighten other colors or uh, maybe mix them with some grays to dull them a little bit for the swatching I'm gonna be using Fumui uh, number 8 a brush and I put some black line in the middle of the paper on both sides uh, just to see how do they appear on the black paper because they do uh, in some cases uh, they have quite a nice color on black paper but then again I prefer them on white to me they are maybe not as opaque as they should be to uh, be well visible on black paper but then again one I don't mind because I prefer to work on the white paper and the pigment is there and they are really uh, like almost fluorescent really 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 nice paper, uh, paints and I actually purchased this thing uh, not so long ago it's um, I'm not sure the size, but 300 by 400 millimeters is a stereo glass or something like that, which is super cool because I never had anything to attach my watercolor paper. So uh, I was attaching them to the desk directly, but now I can actually transfer them to the side when wait until uh, the painting is dry and continue doing something else on my desk. So it's super cool. And uh, for this, um, project I'm gonna be also using um, the uh, sparkling watercolor paper also from Paul Rubens and uh, as you can see uh, it's my new love this paper I really like it it's so cool to work on it uh, and on top of that I love the spark and since I knew I'm gonna be doing a rainbow I said to myself that there has to be a sparkling paper uh, on, as a background to that and I am attaching it, uh, attaching the paper to this mat I bought with the tape. Uh, I'm using a normal uh, masking tape. I think it's not artist grade. So I always put it first on the uh, table. And like that, I, I am sure that it's not very sticky and it's not gonna uh, tear the paper when I am removing it. And just a second ago, I showed you the two... Um, stickers some of you who are placing orders in my shop uh, you know those stickers because i was adding them in the uh, in orders in some of the orders and uh, that's the base or my inspiration for this project today and so i'm gonna start doing the rainbow which is gonna be completely different <laughs> to the actual uh, rainbows uh, the colors are not gonna be um, like you know uh, like in actual rainbow I decided to go completely off the grid no not off the grid but completely um, hmm, crazy I'd say <laughs> so it's gonna be very uh, neon sparkling dude, full of doodles uh, a rainbow uh, completely unrealistic it's like a unicorn rainbow almost and so I'm uh, uh, still working with my uh, Fimui brush, but this time it's a 16, I think, if I'm not, uh, yes, flat 16, uh, number 16. And I'm adding the, um, the rainbows, the <laughs> uh, layer by layer, you know, trying to add the colors and just go with the flow. I wanted to show you and also try out um, the most of the colors possible. So like that, I know how they look on the paper. So 
<laughs> there is really no limit with this rainbow, you're gonna see. Uh, something completely, um, I think, um, not really my style, though I really enjoy doing it. And it's nice to kind of come back to your uh, childhood, because it's like a childhood project almost. So I do did really enjoy working with this project, even though it took me a long time. <laughs> I had to do the first layer, then let it dry, because I didn't want to... Um, have the, you know, uh, the paints going from one layer to the other or one arch to the other. But now I'm thinking that it could have been fun, actually. I could have maybe do it, um, you know, like that, just mixing up the colors, but uh, I decided otherwise. So now you see when the paint, uh, the first layer was dry, I started doing the uh, second layer, the rest of the arches. Uh, if I have to be honest with you, and I'm always trying to be honest with you, I really love these paints. And um, I love the fact that they are quite pigmented, um, but some of them are less pigmented than the others, so you have to bear that in mind, but they are fluorescent or rather neon colors. I'm not sure what's the difference, actually. I have to Google that. I should know that. Uh, but uh, yes, some of them are uh, less pigmented than the others, but in general, the whole set is really nice for uh, those of you who really like bright colors. Uh, really nice to put on the paper also. I had no issues with the colors whatsoever, so I'm really happy with that. You can see on the first arch that I put some, like I dipped the paint uh, or I dipped the brush on the uh, paint which wasn't dry uh, yet and I got these small kind of uh, stains which is super cool also so I try to experiment as much as I could. Uh, if it comes to this set unfortunately I was informed that probably they're gonna discontinue it by March next year. So if you feel like um, buying it uh, well, uh, there is your chance because uh, later I'm not sure if they're gonna uh, still have it. Uh, I'm happy I managed to get it, so you know, uh, something completely uh, different to my um, to my normal regular watercolors I'm using. And I'm gonna be working with fine liners from Ohuhu, which are super cool, and of course they are permanent. And so I'm gonna do my doodles. I'm trying to do um, or learn uh, to be free with doodles, uh, to do um, as much as I can, different ones, but at the same time, kind of uh, let it go, do not overthink and just try to create something uh, different. So there is gonna be a lot of doodling. I sped up the process for you so you can uh, Hmm. So you don't have to <laughs> endure the whole, uh, I don't know how many hours I was doing that. But it's such a zen thing to do. Uh, I was quite stressed because I was going on holidays or rather um, stayed at my mom's. And so it's not really a holiday because there is not that much things to do in terms of visiting pl and uh, places. Uh, it's rather a uh, help uh, I have to uh, provide because um, uh, my mom is living alone and there is always so much to help her with so it's not really holidays and uh, right now when I'm doing this um, voiceover I'm, uh, after the holidays I'm completely broken I am so so tired there was so much things to help her with but I was so happy to see her but uh, what I was trying to say is that before I was um, uh, going for these holidays I knew already that there is a lot of work waiting for me although I didn't expect that much <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to prepare all the suitcases and I had some appointments to manage and my car got broken um, and so I had to walk to the shop and to the post and you know uh, it was very 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 complicated with holidays uh, and not the summer holidays for children so I had to manage all of that and um, when I had a tiny bit of time I was just sitting down and continuing to doodle and my whole point is that it's actually quite uh, freeing like you are in a flow you don't think too much about anything else and even if it comes to your mind ah oh, I have to do that 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 you'll 
still kind of, or at least I was still thinking, I don't mind. Uh, for now, I'm doodling, you know. And so this is so cool. I wish I could have a little bit more of the a variety of doodling, I think. Uh, I'm kind of sticking with the same kind of things. So sometimes I'm watching some uh, photos on the internet to get inspired. But here I couldn't really, I don't know. I don't know, I didn't find really too much inspiration. So you can see the lines, the hearts and the circles. That's me. What can I say? Uh, even though this rainbow is uh, so not me, or maybe it is, you know, maybe uh, this is real me, you know, somewhere deep inside, which I am kind of, uh, you know, uh, hiding from the world. Uh, but yes, this is me and um, this is uh, what I've done. Uh, you're gonna see at the end, and you've seen, you've seen in the uh, first photos that uh, there is a lot of things going on in this rainbow, maybe too much. And um, as I mentioned to you, I was inspired by the uh, by the stickers I had, uh, which I purchased uh, especially f to, you know, to add to your orders. So when you are placing orders in my shop, I have this urge to always give you something uh, extra. And so I bought these stickers and I kept a few of the rainbows uh, with me. Uh, but when I was looking at the photos of rainbows on the internet also to get a little bit inspired, uh, I've seen that some of the artists, they were actually making um, animals out of the rainbows. So you're gonna see at the end, I didn't make an animal uh, because I didn't want to repeat what others do, but I added <laughs> a little bit of like a crazy touch uh, at the end to the rainbows uh, because, well, this is purely imagination and uh, nothing is real here, here. So why shouldn't I do that if I just fancy it? Yeah. And also, you know, it was so freeing this experience of doing these doodles and of thinking, oh, anyway, okay, this is so not really me, like in, um, in a way that it's not my art journaling, my standard art journaling that I'm just gonna go crazy. And when I finished doodling the rainbow, I said, I have to continue. And that's why I add these weird things coming out of the rainbow later on. So yes, I guess my point uh, with this project is to tell you that um, they do, <laughs> doodles uh, make you a little bit calmer, at least in my case they do. And um, I came back. I have some orders to do, I have some films, so movies to make, uh, or videos rather. Uh, my car is still broken, uh, my daughter is sick, my kitchen is in pieces because we are actually trying to um, fix up our kitchen because it was too small and too old and we are trying to do it all by ourselves. <laughs> so it's a complete mess and I'm thinking I may do some doodling again because it does do it does calm me down so if you are stuck like that uh, this is my advice to you just go ahead and just switch off the brain and just let go your inner child and just doodle and draw and just don't think and forget about all the worries and all the hectic life and all what's wrong and so this is almost it uh, i think you know, I'm not sure, let me know if you think I should add this, uh, I don't know how you call it, how can you call it, maybe a sort of antennae, I don't know. Uh, but I had fun, and as I mentioned to you, I didn't want to stop, and I also felt like, you know, the top of the paper is a little bit too blank to my liking, so that's why, uh, that's what uh, one of the reasons I added um, this uh, doodling. Uh, either way, working on this paper and working with these paints it was really fun and uh, so if you like neon colors i'm pretty sure this is a really nice uh, set of neo neon watercolors for you to try and um, i think that would be all from me i chat through whole video i think it's quite long uh, i know it's actually 16 minutes it's not that long but <laughs> I had longer ones, but I don't like long videos because I think you don't just 
we don't have tendency to stick to the end because it's normal. We we are just too busy. Uh, but if you did, thank you so very much for that. And thank you for all of your comments. I do appreciate them so very much. Uh, I will add all the links to Paul Rubens no watercolors uh, and all the paper in the description box below. Also, there will be a link to my shop. So if you feel like uh, making a purchase or at least having a look, I'll be so happy. Thank you once again for being here with me, for subscribing, for hitting the thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever um, suits you. And uh, yes, once again, for being here with me, your support means a world. Uh, thank you so very much and see you soon in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Thank you.